Hey everyone, it's Mike with It's Pittsfield Tonight. I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, thunderstorms, thunderstorms, and thunderstorms. <laughs> uh, it, that's what today is going to bring. It looks like uh, most likely all day there's a, there's a pretty high risk of thunderstorms. Um, last night was live on the lake and the cruise night at the Pittsfield airport. I believe live on the lake went forward cruise night at the airport they rescheduled for this coming Wednesday so the 14th I believe it is um, and I'll put a link to their page or I'll put something up about that man they've had horrible luck <laughs> with that I feel so bad for them I, I mean really the past couple years has been just hit or miss for them and more of a miss than it was a hit every time so and things beyond their circumstance you know their control uh, so anyway that's coming up. So if you're not doing anything next Wednesday, there's that. Uh, Pittsfield Airport, I believe it's 5 to 8. So uh, Live on the Lake went forward. Like I said, I, I got to check in with uh, Brian Slater, uh, Slater and Marjo. So see what happened with that. You know, speaking of Slater, <laughs> uh, they, get, they stirred a little bit of a controversy in the community yesterday with a post they made on 95.9's Facebook page. And I totally understood it, and, and many of you that saw the post, it was the one uh, that said something about your favorite top five dive bars in Pittsfield. And they really offended some people, including Bill, Molner, who owns the Madison, and I like Bill. You know, I talked to Bill a lot uh, one week during the middle of the pandemic when the restaurants were shut down. And I was trying to help them out, and he called me. I got in touch with him. He explained his situation to me. Really nice guy. I never got to go down there and follow through on some things with him. Everything got crazy, uh, but they did get opened after that, and that was really the main thing that we were trying to get done. Um, but anyway. He, Bill owns the Madison, and the Madison was one of these five bars they listed on there, and it offended some people. Look, I this is why I get it. The word dive bar is a regional thing. It really is. Uh, I lived in Raleigh, North Carolina for a long time, and Raleigh is a big college town. And um, one of my favorite bars that I used to go to, the name of it was the, is the dive bar. Uh, in this part of Massachusetts, the word dive bar is derogatory. It's calling a place a dive, a dump. So I get why people here were like, hey, it, it just, it's one of those things. It's like, um, you know, here people go out and get a grinder. Uh, go to North Carolina or Florida or someplace, you know, wherever, and ask people for a grinder and the, come back with an appliance, you know, a meat grinder or something. They don't know what you're talking about or a tag sale. <laughs> you know, there are yard sales and garage sales everywhere else. And dive bar is one of those things for us. And here it is a derogatory statement. I know Slater meant absolutely nothing negative about that in any way whatsoever. I know that. Um, we should go to the Madison. Uh, we should support all those bars on there. We should support all our restaurants. I'm not a drinker, but I, I would like to do something. Uh, I think to smooth that over, let's do something. Let me see if I can get Slater to do something. We'll go make an appearance there or do something. But uh, And Bill, uh, the owner of the Madison, Bill, I'll reach out to you. I'll give you a call today or tomorrow. Um, I want to talk to you about some stuff anyways. So anyway, check out that post on 95.9 if it's still there. And again, it wasn't negative. There's no way Slater and Marjo meant anything negative about that. I think it was just uh, a misunderstanding on the how that term is used and here in this area of the country and in our area that is a derogatory thing but again it's a regional term and I and I know that they meant it in no way uh, negative at all so that's that um, one last thing you know I had to mention uh, the photo so some people mentioned the photo of like me the mayor and Bigfoot <laughs> which I loved that photo. I thought it was great. Obviously, I created that. And the, the, the idea of Bigfoot was I get that my, my odds of 
uh, getting an interview with the mayor are the same as getting an interview with Bigfoot. It's just not going to happen. Um, I wasn't and making fun of anybody in any other... It was nothing like that. I know a few people said... Just a few. So I put that one up of me and the sheriff and Freddie Mercury. And a few people messaged me and said, I don't get it. And I said, there's nothing to get. It's just a funny picture. I just thought it was funny. Because uh, political season. It's theater. And it, ha it is. It has to be. You're out there selling yourself. You are the product. Um, and we don't have a lot of people involved in our municipal elections this year. I'm really bummed about that. And uh, it is what it is. I'm not going to harp on, on bashing the mayor. For all I know, maybe the rumor's true and the mayor's going to leave anyway, uh, and Peter Marchetti will become the acting mayor and then run for mayor. Uh, we're already seeing the, the next mayoral election takes shape who the candidates are anyway. Um, which I'll be talking about that soon. Might as well. I know it's a couple years out, but might as well. And, and put an end to that rumor now, because the rumor has constantly been that Mayor Tyre will leave with less than a year left of her term, and Peter Marchetti will become the acting mayor, uh, and then he can run his campaign as the acting mayor and all that. And that very well could be a absolute ridiculous rumor. It could be ridiculous. But it is a rumor that has existed the whole time. And Anyway, I'm not, I'm not, I'm done really talking about the mayor for the fact that my inside source uh, that I ran into told me, uh, it's not that the mayor doesn't like you, it's that she doesn't respect you. <laughs> and that's basically what they told me, that she doesn't consider me a real outlet, so why talk to me? Uh, so why talk about her? I'm going to focus on other things. Uh, the city councilors, most of them I feel I have a pretty good relationship with. Uh, and, and I'm going to keep it that way. I mean, I want this plat I've platform to show transparency and have an outlet for the public to hear from their counselors, what's happening, what's going on. So I will continue to work with all the incumbents and candidates and, and do it that way and just focus on the issues. You know, this isn't about being negative. It's about calling out the important things and seeing how we can address them. That's what this is all about. So I do have a, a lot of stuff coming up uh, that I'm planning. July is kind of, everyone should try to enjoy summer. So I'm going to push it to August. We'll start really ramping things up, but let's try to just have fun. Um, I'm getting a lot of work with my wildlife photos right now, so I've got to do that. I've got to do my once a year fundraiser for the page. There's all the things I've got to get done in July. Uh, that I'm, I'm, and then August we really start kicking up and that's a month before the primaries if there are primaries I don't think there's enough candidates to have primaries I think almost every race will not have a primary it's weird that, that might be a first for us we'll see um, so anyway that's it for now I'll have another video out tomorrow Rain, rain, rain. Oh, glad my hair's gone. That, that was down to there. I can't believe how long that was. I didn't realize when it was wet, it was like down to there. <laughs> but I, I had to do it. I couldn't take it anymore. Should have done that in the winter. Well, no, that took a long time. I forget how much time went by without a haircut. It was a while. But, uh, oh yeah, thank you to Dawn. Uh, Dawn is a local resident. Somebody gave me a hard time on, on that, saying you should have used a local place. I did. All those people that work there are Pittsfield people. She's a lifelonger. <laughs> so, all right, that's it for now. I'll catch you all uh, tomorrow.